Say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? All right. All right. Thank you. Once again, we thank you for the co-creation of this interaction and the allowance you have given to us in allowing us to experience each and every one of you as one of the facets of the multidimensional crystal of creation. We would like to begin this transmission that has the title, Think Outside the Box. Now, we understand this has a particular meaning on your planet, and it doesn't mean that we can't also address the usual meaning you have given it, which has to do with the idea of expanding your creativity. But what we're doing today with that particular phrase is something quite a bit different. This particular idea is something that you can use as a permission slip specifically designed to allow your consciousness to move halfway between your physical mind and your higher mind. Literally move your consciousness so that it exists at a halfway point between the two. To begin to allow you to experience a different sense of balance and connectivity to both the higher mind and the physical mind, and to put you in a specific state that will allow you more understanding of how to be observing from a neutral place, which can serve you in many situations and circumstances in your day-to-day -day reality. As you practice this more and more, you will find that you will begin to sense more strongly the altered state that goes hand in hand with this particular permission slip exercise. And it will allow you not only more experience with neutrality, but more ability to connect experientially with your higher mind, to receive more clearly the communication from your higher mind, so that you can pass it along from your midpoint down into your physical mind and allow the physical mind to apply the communications and messages from your higher mind into your physical day-to-day -day reality to create more efficacy of utilizing the formula and the tools that we have shared with all of you that we call the instruction manual. So, let us begin. Allow yourselves, as we describe this, to become comfortable. This doesn't have to be a deep meditation at the moment, but this, if you go along with it a little bit, will allow you to begin to experience this altered state. It might be a little, it might be a lot, that's up to you. But go with it as we describe it, so that you can begin to understand what this entails and allow you to repeat it for yourself when you wish. Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Imagine, if you will, for the moment, that you are standing inside a structure that you might typically refer to as a warehouse. It's large, and mostly empty. There's nothing in it except one thing, a box. Now, you can allow this box to look like whatever you wish. You can allow the warehouse to look like whatever you wish, but it should be a large, empty space. There can be light coming in or not, it doesn't matter. There can be support beams and posts in it or not, it doesn't matter. But the box, is the only thing in it besides you. Now, we would suggest, but again, it's up to you, that the box be made out of something clear that you can see inside it. Glass, plastic, whatever you wish. It can have a frame around it, but it might be easier for you to follow along if you can actually allow the box to be transparent in some way, shape, or form. So, 
Here you are in this warehouse with this empty box, this transparent box. It doesn't have to be too big. It doesn't have to be too small. Something you could probably carry if you had to. Maybe a couple of feet on a side. But again, up to you. Now, as you stand in this warehouse, just stand there and start to think your normal thoughts. You think about this, you think about your day, you think about your life, you think about the people in it, you think about certain circumstances and situations in your life. You think about a trip you're going to take. Anything you wish to think about that is typical for you to think of. Your work, your play, your friends, your family. Anything at all that you have thoughts about. No matter whether they are positive or negative. Just take a moment and review those thoughts. Now, as you go through those thoughts, one at a time, allow yourself to imagine that you take a thought out of your head and put it in the box. Now, once the thought is in the box, it can look like anything. It can look like a light moving around. It can look like smoke. Whatever you wish it to look like. It can look like a ball. It can look like a cube. Whatever you want to represent that thought by. It can be different colors, different shades. Just see it in the box. Then take the next thought you were thinking of and put that in the box. And the next, and the next, and the next, and the next. Get to a point, whether or not you have a specific idea of your thoughts, get to the point where you simply understand and imagine that all of your thoughts are inside the box. And you can see them through the clear sides of the box. Maybe they're in there moving around. White smoke, dark smoke for positive, negative, different colors of cubes or balls. Whatever it is, lights moving around. See that all of your thoughts have been put inside the box and you can observe them. So now, at this moment, you're not having any other thoughts. You are just observing your thoughts in the box. That's all you're doing is just looking at the box and you're seeing that all your thoughts are over there, in the box. That's it. There is no other thoughts going on. You're just looking. You're just observing. You're not thinking about the box. You're not thinking about the thoughts in the box. You are just watching it, observing it, neutrally, objectively. You may understand, you may know from a certain point of view that they are your thoughts, but keep it on the level of just observing them in the box. At this point, you are in a state of observance, just observance. The warehouse is big and empty. There's the box. The thoughts are inside it, sitting still or moving around. And there's just you looking at the box. That's it. Now, as you are observing the box full of thoughts, again, no thoughts involved within you, you start to move away from the box. Farther and farther, you can back away, you can walk away and look over your shoulder, doesn't matter. As long as you know the thoughts are still in the box and you're not thinking about the warehouse, you're not thinking about where you're going, you are just moving away from the box, just observing the inside of the warehouse, observing the box. And then you go to the warehouse door. You open the warehouse door and you step outside the warehouse. It can be a small door, it can be a big door, doesn't matter. As long as when you step outside, you can still see the box inside the warehouse. Just back away, keep the door open. You're now outside in a much bigger space. You're now seeing the warehouse from the outside, but also seeing the box inside it and seeing the thoughts in the box. As you stand now outside, of the warehouse, be it day, be it night, be it warm, be it cold, be it dry, be it rainy, doesn't matter. You are still just observing. You're not thinking about the day. You're not thinking about the warehouse. You're not thinking about the box and the thoughts in it. You are just observing the day, observing the warehouse, and observing that there is a box inside with your thoughts in it. You're just looking. You're just watching. That's all you're doing. You have no thought about it, no feeling about it. 
It's just there. It's just what it is. You know those are your thoughts. You know that's a box. You know that's a warehouse. You know you're outside. But that's all. You're just looking. You're just observing. And now you just stand there for a moment. Just continue to observe. Nothing more. And allow yourself now, without thinking about it, just to feel the state of neutral observation that you're in. At this point, you are literally in an altered state when you get used to doing this that is representative of being halfway in your consciousness between the physical and the higher mind. The physical mind is back in that box. The higher mind is somewhere up there in the sky. But you are just observing that you're standing where you're standing. You just know you're halfway. You don't have to think about the higher mind. You don't have to think about the physical mind. You're just looking at everything that you can see. Just looking. Just observing. No thought about it. No feeling about it. It just is. It just is. It just is. And that's all that it is. As you practice this and get more used to this particular altered state of observation, neutral observation, halfway between your physical and higher mind, you can begin to experience knowing yourself more clearly, becoming a more transparent conduit for communication from the higher mind to pass through you to the physical mind, to the thoughts in the box. But you are just observing it. You're just watching the process of communication in energy coming from the higher mind, from the sky, from the world around you, and passing through you into the warehouse, into the box, to the physical mind. You're just watching this. You have become literally nothing more than a conduit for that information, for that communication, for that connection. You're just observing it happen. There is nothing to think about. You're just watching it happen. This will allow you to function more in the channeling state on a daily basis as you follow your passion to the best you can with no insistence on the outcome and remain in a positive state. Going into this particular altered state at the halfway point by thinking outside the box and not thinking at all but observing, watching, just knowing, just seeing. You can then allow yourself at your own pace when you're comfortable to say thank you to the day, to go back into the warehouse, to say thank you to the warehouse, to that space that allows you this sense of removal and yet still be attached in the way that you need to. You can say thank you to the box that is holding your thoughts and at whatever rate and whatever way you wish to, you can imagine those thoughts going back into you. If there are some thoughts that you feel you would rather remain in the box, that's okay too. Because again, you will know they're there. If you ever really want to reclaim them, you can, but you don't have to. If they are not vibrationally compatible with who you prefer to be now that you have been in this observational halfway point state. If you decide that there are some that you would prefer to remain in that little box in the warehouse, then you can see them in whatever way, shape, or form you wish, fading, 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 until the box is clear once again. They will always be there to call back into form. But for now, let them fade. And feel the lightness of the thoughts that come back to you. Now that you have begun to see your thoughts from an observational neutral 
point of view, from an altered state halfway between your typical physical experience and your higher mind, so that you can function in your life as a clearer conduit of information from the higher mind, which is a language of energy, which your body translates as passion, creativity, love, curiosity, attraction, and which it is important to answer with physical action. Because while energy is the language of the higher mind, physical action is the language of physical reality. And if you're not actually acting on the information, the communication, the passion, vibration that is sent from the higher mind, you're not actually taking a physical action to represent the fact that you have received it and acknowledge it, then you are not speaking the language of physical reality. And thus the higher mind knows that you're not really hearing it. And therefore, why should it send something more when you're not willing to act on what it is already sent? But doing this exercise outside the box of your thoughts, just observing them, just looking at them and not thinking about them will put you in a state that will allow you better receptivity for that communication from the higher mind. You will be a clearer channel, a clearer conduit of your own path. And you will flow more easily, more effortlessly in life as life flows more easily and effortlessly through you. So, allow yourselves to breathe this in and breathe it out. Make it your own. If your imagination decides to alter it a little bit, that's fine. But again, remember, putting your thoughts in the box is about not thinking about them anymore. It's just observing them. There they are, over there. That's all you do in that exercise, is recognize there they are, over there. Here I am, here. Now I am here. Now I am here. There they are, over there. Simple observation is all that's required for this to take hold and for you to wind up in the altered state that represents the bridge and the link halfway between your physical and higher mind. Do you understand? All right. Do this as you wish. Practice it. It will become stronger. And soon you will begin to really feel that altered state very viscerally, very physically. You will know when you are in that halfway point. And things will change around you, sometimes in the blink of an eye for you will be the center point of your creation.